Hi from Black Latino Farms. This is Melissa. I have to record what happened within the last hour because I don't want to forget it. This is a perfect journal for I'll never forget this day. And it's fresh in my, in my head as to what happened. So let's go for a walk. So I came out here, I had an easy morning. I did a, a little bit of a um, tutorial on YouTube on how to better my YouTube channel. And, it, and I'm into art, I love drawing. So I took, a, I'm on doing this 28 day challenge artwork class. And I was having my coffee and I said, okay, l that's enough, Melissa. Let's go out and look at the goats. So I'm, I'm heading down here, trying to prepare give my goats uh, a treat, you know, like the alfalfa um, pellets. And I see down here, in just right here, my two dogs, Max and Tiberius, getting at something. Feathers everywhere. Somehow, the chickens got out. So, we like to keep the chickens in the coop because of the predators, like we have coyotes, foxes, um, hawks and our dogs and as you can see look at the aftermath the de the the chicken was still alive and i put the two dogs away and i had to call my husband christian i told him what happened and we've had we've lost chickens recently because the kids don't lock the gate don't lock the gate to the coop and there's no way I'm going to lose another rooster and we haven't even had, haven't even tasted it yet. So we started out with uh, 17 chickens, then we're down to 14, now we're down to 13 because I actually butchered a chicken today. So, but going back to this aftermath, there were chickens in our neighbor's property over here. Chickens running wild in the back chickens like in the middle of the field across the road and i wasn't even prepared for this i was coming out here i have my robe on just had my coffee just to take a look at my my beautiful goats here let's take a peek how are you guys doing so the chickens are back there in inside their coop i had to get all of them and throw them back in the coop so i did manage to find all of them but one was about to die. And that's the one I butchered today. So after I put the dogs away, I got a butcher knife and I got a cleaver and I came over here to butcher my first chicken. Now I wasn't even prepared. Like Christian and I were planning on um, butchering some of the chickens this weekend because it's a long weekend due to the Canadian um, Thanksgiving. So we have you know we have to have a boiling pot of water so we dunk the, the chicken in the water to to um, loosen the feathers and then we have this machine that will easily pluck the feathers off i was not prepared for this today <laughs> so I t I'm, I'm like half naked i had to take off my robe because i was getting hot and i took that chicken turned it upside down so it can calm down and i cut his head right here Look at all that blood. But the sad thing is that chicken suffered. My knives were not sharp. So I'm butchering it 10 times and the chicken's tongue was sticking out. Oh my God. Whew. What a morning. Well, afternoon. So after I cut that chicken's head off, I had a my bucket and I took that bucket inside the house and that's where I did the remaining part of the, the butchering. So how did I feel? I was, I'm not traumatized. I don't even know what to feel. Like, I didn't know if I should cry because of my knives weren't sharp enough. That, that chicken suffered, it shouldn't have never suffered. I'm so mad with my dogs of what they did. My dogs are supposed to be here to protect our livestock, not to kill it. So, honestly, there's a lot of emotions, but 
I don't know. I can't, I can't put them into words as how, to, how I felt. Like I knew I'd be comfortable butchering the chickens because I'm going to be the one. Christian is not going to do it because he's... I'm not going to say a baby. <laughs> but I know I, I'm comfortable because I'm the one who does the cooking. I, I handle raw meat. So, But I know I could never kill anything bigger than a bird. So I, don't, I know I can't kill a a goat or a sheep or a cow there's no way <sighs> so going back to my story I'm carrying this chicken in his bucket and I came inside and I started boiling the water I dunked the chicken inside the water oh my god does it, does it stink so that's tip number one I need to give these chickens a bath before I uh, <laughs> I start butchering them because it stunk. Then the the boiling water did work. I stuck the chicken into the boiling water for maybe held in there 10, 15 seconds. And I took it out, brought it to the sink and started taking off the feathers, taking it off. Easy, easy, easy. But what's, what's hard, what was more difficult is uh, those little itty bitty feathers in the crevices. So that took me about 20 to 30 minutes to plug it. But again, I have a machine for that. So because of this circumstances, I had to do everything by hand. I, I felt like a pioneer. And um, so once I got all the feathers out, I don't know if I, I should show you this. I, I put all the feathers in the bucket that I had the chicken in originally. And Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down here. And then I had to actually take out its insides. Tip number two, when you're going to butcher your chickens or any type of animal, you have to not feed that chicken for at least 24, 48 hours because everything that that chicken ate today, yesterday, I saw it and I smelt it. So gross. So I reached into that chicken's body and pulled out all of its guts, its intestines. I'm gonna show it to you, okay? Just a second. And there it is, all its guts, intestines, and oh, what he ate, feathers, water, so gross. And the smell. So I, I did do it. Again, tip number three, have sharp knives when, when dealing with um, killing your livestock. And I came inside. I'm coming inside right now, sorry. And this is the outcome of my chicken. So right now, it's having a nice bath with some salt, um, apple cider vinegar, and some rosemary. I want my chicken to smell really nice and to be clean. So there you have it. My first experience as a person who moved from the city, who's been living in the city over 40 years, coming to the country and butchering her first chicken. Boy, that was traumatizing. Okay, see you next time. Take two or continuation to this video. While I was doing the video, all of those, uh, the, the chicken head and the chicken feet were in my organics. And look who has them now. You are a bad boy. Bad, bad boy. Tiberius, bad boy.